Welcome back. Education is a building block in any successful community. And just a few blocks south of Sherman Park sits a school that's been around for 105 years. Jesse Redka takes us inside Washington High School of Information Technology. Study careers here. You'll be old enough to work before you know it. And paving the path to the working world is something students at Washington High School of Information Technology have already immersed in. There's actually a school that focuses on the thing I was trying to focus on throughout my entire life in high school. I knew just a little bit about IT classes, but Washington helped me break down that wall of what I didn't know, so it gave me a lot of knowledge in the IT field. But it's not just IT. Washington students have the opportunity to be part of the Pro Start program to learn about the culinary arts. The cooking, the bookwork, everything. Nothing like is boring. A hands on style of learning helping to shift the focus to the future. Making lemonade out of lemons. No matter their present situation. Although our students are living in a uh, a time when all of this negativity is going on that they know that when they come to school that they have something positive. They have something that they can actually cling on to. And whether that's winning a nationwide mobile app contest or using math and science to create the perfect dinner app, these students are embracing and helping spread the positivity their school is providing. And I've been here since my freshman year and I love it. And it just encouraged me to tell more people about it to get them to come to our school. I couldn't imagine Washington not being here. And thanks to hardworking teachers, staff, and students, Washington will be here, welcoming high schoolers and helping send them toward a brighter tomorrow. It really helped me out. I don't know where I would be at right now without Washington. Jesse Ritka, today is TMJ4. Washington has several successful alumni, including U.S. Senator Herb Cole, Wisconsin Governor Lee Dreyfus, actor Gene Wilder, and the former Commissioner of Baseball, Bud Selig.